Thank you. Our final speaker now. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I'd like, first of all, like to say how much I've enjoyed hosting you today, Minister, and your delegation. And I've been inspired by the self-belief self in Somaliland, coming not least from your own uh, diaspora, which, of course, is, is widespread across many member states of the European Union. I'd um, also like to remind people that today is United Nations World Democracy Day, so re-recognition of Somaliland would be quite uh, a fitting subject for today. I've enjoyed um, hosting the delegation and the positivity. There are two international presidents that spring to mind, of course, of the countries, uh, two countries that will merge, but as we've heard, decided it wasn't for them, namely the UAR, which lasted for three years with Egypt and Syria, and Senegambia, Senegal and Gambia, which lasted for just six months. So there is an international precedent there. I welcome the December rounds of talks with Somali, Somalia in Djibouti, and I hope that these can move forward in the same positive manner. I welcome how men and women over the age of 18 are eligible to vote in a stable multi-party democracy in Somaliland. I welcome and am proud how three member states, the United Kingdom, a leading contributor, Denmark and Netherlands, supported by an EEA member, Norway, um, can, have supported the Somali, uh, Somaliland Development Fund. I welcome the work of the Edna Adan Maternity and Teaching Hospital in Hargeza, we, in women's health care, and particularly in that cultural taboo, which is so often raised in, in these institutions, that's FGM, female genital mutilation. I'm delighted to see that because of the successful education program of Edna, a drop in the number of cases of 25% we've seen in the last 10 years. I'd like to call on all member states and the United Nations and the Commonwealth to get behind this worthy cause for re, uh, recognition. I'd also like to publicly take this opportunity to thank Charles Tannock, although a political opponent, for a long, his long support and work on behalf of Somaliland, and also for his private advice and support for my initiative, as I'm now um, hoping to announce my desire and hope to be able to form a genuine cross-delegation Somaliland friendship group. Accordingly, I'd like to invite any interested colleagues to please contact me. No political party or delegation should be allowed to claim this as their own project, but instead, we must build a genuine consensus of support for this moderate, Western-like thinking, sunny country that can be a beacon of hope and Thank lead, by example, else. across this troubled region. Thank you. Maryland, I am uh, myself uh, a strong supporter of recognition of Somaliland. And I've said so without fear of contradiction. I've said this, that um, I've been to Somaliland. I was one of the first leaders to go to Somaliland when uh, my late friend Mohamed Egal was still alive. And I saw what they had done at that time. And I know the history uh, of that union between Somaliland and the South. It was not, not helpful. Now you have a situation where the, the South itself will take many years before they sort themselves uh, out together. I think there's a very strong case for uh, recognition of Somaliland as uh, an independent state. But I'm speaking as Rael Odinga, not representing any government. Okay? Dear viewers, Warm welcome to the Voice of Somaliland. Today we are broadcasting from Sweden. And we are so proud to have the opportunity to broadcast this program that will tell you about all the great things that happened last weekend here at the Celebrate Somaliland Conference, the Somaliland World Congress, with visitors from all Europe and Africa and all over Sweden, of course. So we are happy and glad that you are with us today and uh, please enjoy this broadcast. I'm so proud to work with the nation of Somaliland. It's the only democratic nation at all the Horn of Africa and also at the Arabian Peninsula. The neighboring countries as Yemen, that you have full war today, or Oman and Saudi Arabia, non-democratic nations, 
or Eritrea, they have such huge problems with human rights and democracy. And also Djibouti and Ethiopia, that is not fully democratic nations. And Somalia, that you have such huge problems with terrorists, with piracy and with uh, non-democratic movements. And in the middle of all this you find one nation, and that is the nation of Somaliland. The nation of Somaliland's border was established already in 1884. And today the people are living in peace and stability in the, in the middle of the, one of the worst regions of the world. So I'm so proud to be a part of this. And I just want to say Somaliland Hanulato. The flag of Somaliland! Somaliland Halulato! Somaliland Halulato! That's the only democratic elected government in all the Horn of Africa on the Arabia Peninsula. And it's also the only country that is not recognized. We are a fully fledged government, we have our own forces, we have our uh, security, we have our government, we have our constitution, we have our parties, we have our democratization program, we are, uh, we, 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 we are one of the stable, uh, Somaliland is the most stable part, as they say, an oasis of peace in the Horn of Africa now, there's no doubt about it. So what's the feeling in your bones, when do you think Somaliland will be recognized as an independent state? Very soon, inshallah, I hope very much so. But you could go a different route. Why seek independence? You could actually remain part of a greater Somalia and help the rest of the country regain stability and prosperity. The thing is, uh, there is no doubt about it, the fact that we would like to see Somalia become peaceful, stable, uh, like Somalia, like Somaliland, and because that would be to the interest not only of the region and of the world, but also to, the, to our own interest. We've got huge numbers of people coming from Somalia all the time, coming as refugees or displaced people, according to the United Nations, to our country, to Hargeisa, and to, to, to Somaliland. Uh, but, of course, if we can do anything at all, if we can contribute to what the rest of the world is doing to bring back peace and stability to Somalia, we would do our level best. But how stable is Somaliland? You've got your own terror problem. For instance, the leader of al-Shabaab, is from Somaliland. You've had Guantanamo Bay detainees from Hargeisa. It's true. There are individuals and individuals from originally from Somaliland who are involved in Shabab activities. There's no doubt about it. We even, you know, and all the time we are very much on our guard. We have to uh, mobilize all our people, including the religious leaders and the, the religious community and, and, and the public, as well as our sort of uh, uh, security forces to guard against them. We, they have attacked Somaliland, they attacked Pundan, and of course we know what's happening in, 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 in the rest of Somalia as well. What so, are you doing though to prevent the uh, young people, the young men of Somaliland, be recruited into the ranks of terror groups and well, militant that, groups? That is one of the things which uh, we always uh, put our friends everywhere and say we need to employ and to guide and to give encouragement to young people not to feel lost, but to sort of uh, expand education, uh, to expand and, give and open up the possibilities of work for them and to engage them in useful activities instead of going with extremist groups with the Shabaab and others. How far do you see the referendum on possible independence for southern Sudan as furthering your own cause? The African Union always maintained the position that uh, uh, African borders should remain as they were at the time of independence. The fact that southern Sudan has the chance of being recognized as a, as a separate state now with the uh, approval of the African Union and uh, the rest of the international community, I see no reason why that should not open up a new opportunity for Somalia to be recognized as well. Are you going to use that to oh, pressure? Oh yes, indeed, indeed we are. We are going to use that to pressure the international community to 
uh, to, to, to take that into consideration.